it's not Christmas anymore. This looks so bad. Okay, anyways. Hey guys, it's Betsy. My hair is pink. It's kind of like this peachy color. I dyed it with the L'Oreal Colorista peach hair dye and like I'm kind of living for it. So it's almost the end of 2019, which is like kind of good, but also kind of bad. I don't know what to expect from myself or the world in 2020 and that's a little bit concerning, but it's always good to prepare yourself for what you can. And so that's what I've been trying to do. And to do that, I've been trying to set some like resolutions for myself. I don't like the word resolution because I feel like at this point it just has the connotation that like you're gonna end up not sticking to it. Everybody's New Year's resolutions end like by February. So these are more of like 2020 goals for myself that I'd really like to stick to. So I have a list that I've been making myself and I wanted to share my goals for the new year with you guys and I thought you could share some of yours with me in the comments below and see if there's anything that I should add to my list and maybe if you're having trouble thinking of ways to better your life in 2020 then my list might be able to help you out. So one of my goals is to work out once a week. Right now I work at a gym and I coach gymnastics so like I do work out whenever I work but I would like to kind of up that and actually do something just for me on my time. It could help my mentality and it just will help me feel better about myself, you know? Along with that is to eat more vegetables. I'm just not good at eating healthy foods and so I just want to be able to like actually eat healthy foods instead of sugar. This kind of goes along with the working out thing. Like I just want to feel physically better and I feel like when I feel better physically I'll feel better mentally and like my insecurities might try to subside a little bit. Another one of my goals is to read at least six books in 2020. I love reading and I just don't make time for it because I feel like I'm so busy with work and school and everything else that comes with life that I just don't make time to read. The next goal kind of goes along with the reading goal and it's to make more time for myself to do things that I enjoy doing. So like not just doing all of my schoolwork and work and then going on my phone and then feeling bad because I don't have time to read, I don't have time to write, I don't have time to do my artwork, I don't have time to work out. Like I just want to do more things for me to relax instead of like just constantly going on my phone to relax. Another thing, I'd like to keep a schedule so like, I don't know, kind of keep myself in check when it comes to schoolwork and like personal time, I guess. I'm taking two online classes next semester and then two in-person classes at my college and so I feel like a schedule with those things will really help me get the most out of my classes, get the most knowledge, and then also be able to do the things that I want to do for myself. If I have a schedule and I like have a set time to do everything, if that makes sense. Another thing on my list is to make two new friends. It's really hard for me to make friends. I'm not good at talking to people or just like being comfortable around other people. So the goal is to make two new friends and let's hope it happens earlier in the year rather than later. Maybe we'll make more, but the goal is two. Another one of my goals for 2020 is to make less non-essential purchases. I've been really trying to gear myself away from like just buying things because I want them. I found that my bank account goes down pretty fast when I only buy things because I want them and there's not necessarily a good rhyme or reason to do so. And I just want to be more conscious of what I'm consuming and how that's affecting the environment. Like, yes, I get new clothes and then I donate my clothes to the thrift store, but how many people are gonna buy my clothes from the thrift store? And how likely is it that the possibility of my clothes end up at a landfill? And I just don't want that on my conscience, you know? I'd rather do everything I can to be a conscious consumer next year and just not keep buying things. I'm also challenging myself or just like setting a standard for myself. I will not be buying things off of Wish anymore. No, like Romway, Shein, or Zaful. I'm going to try really hard not to shop at like Forever 21 or H&M. Any of those places where I know that the clothes or items that I'm buying are coming from a 
really bad work environment for the people who are manufacturing my things and also I don't know how those production techniques are affecting the environment. Again like I want to be more conscious of what I'm consuming and do everything that I can to feel better about my purchases be that where they're coming from or what I'm purchasing you know. Another goal is to work really hard to thrift new clothes that I want instead of buying them from like a store like Forever 21 or H&M because for the most part I feel like you can find the things that you want at the thrift store. You're giving those clothes a second life. You're not participating in the fast fashion industry as much and my outlook in the past has been why would I buy this at a thrift store for $2.99 when I could get it at a store for new for like $5. But now it's kind of switched. It's like it's still cheaper and then I'm not giving my money to something that I don't want to give it to. So yeah, basics and all of that stuff, I'm gonna work really hard to find it at the thrift store instead of at an actual store. Another 2020 goal that I have is to keep in mind the positive aspects of the day. I am a very pessimistic person. I tend to look on the negative sides of things. I see all of the bad things that have happened and I don't keep in mind the good things and that's just like not good for anybody because the more that you look at the negatives, the more that you kind of put negativity out into the world and I want to spread positivity and I want to feel good like myself and I can't do that by being a negative person. My last goal for 2020 is to journal more. I really want to keep track of the year. I can keep track of my goals and how they're progressing. I can keep track of just everything that I'm doing so I can share it with my kids in the future or just like look back and be proud of everything that I've done, how far I've grown and yeah I think that would be really fun. I want to start like a scrapbook of all of the places that I'm traveling next year. I have quite a few places that I'm going and I just want to be able to keep track of that and like look back and see all of these positive things instead of looking back on negative things. Yeah those are all of the goals that I have so far. I'll probably be adding more and I'd love to take some goals from you guys and see what you guys are planning on doing. So don't forget to comment any goals that you have for the new year down below. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you have an amazing day. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Bye!